Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox for Android news video, and today we've released version 1.7. And just like all of our releases, we've got some fixes, some improvements, and some new features. In this video, we're going to be going over these awesome new features, and I wanted to jump right into it. But you know, if you're interested in checking out the full change log, I'll leave a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and read through it. But we're going to start out here with the first main feature, and that's going to be the addition of full screen on Android. So in the past, we always had our top bar up here, always had our bottom bar. And by the way, I'm on a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, so it might look a little different from your Android phone. And I know for a fact that some phones with their operating system did allow me to go full screen with LaunchBox for Android, getting rid of the status bar up top here and the navigation bar down below. But some versions of Android would always have these bars either on the top or the bottom. But with this brand new version, 1.7, we've actually added options in the settings. So if we head to our little hamburger menu, we're going to go to options. And if you take a look here, we've got a new system section. Hide top status bar, hide bottom navigation bar. So we can enable these. And once I back up, we're totally full screen now. Navigation bar and status bar are totally gone. This is something I've always wanted to see with uh, Samsung's One UI. Unfortunately, in the past, it just wouldn't allow us to do this. But now with version 1.7, we do have the option listed right here under system. I'm super happy to see this with the latest update of LaunchBox for Android. Moving over to the next major feature for 1.7, LaunchBox for Android now supports platform categories such as arcade, computers, consoles, and handhelds. Now, uh, just straight off the bat, as you can see, I've got all of my handhelds and consoles listed here. But now with 1.7, if we head to the hamburger menu, options, under navigation, we have start with platform categories. We'll head back to main. And as you can see, we've now got our platform categories right here on the main page. Arcade, computers, consoles, handhelds. I'm just going to handhelds. All of the handhelds that I have imported on this tablet right now are listed here. Consoles, computers, arcade, and so on and so on. So this is actually really awesome to keep everything organized. And you know, if you're into using these platform categories, it is now available in LaunchBox 1.7. It just adds a whole nother layer to this front end for Android. We've also added enhanced arcade filters to LaunchBox for Android. And this is very similar to the desktop version of LaunchBox. From our menu, we'll head to Options. Under Navigation, we have a new option to override arcade genres. Now this is actually really awesome, and with LaunchBox for Android, we've had really good arcade support from several different systems. But if I head into my Arcade Classics now that I've enabled that option, we've got a wide range of arcade filters here. Two player, four player, ball paddle, beat em up. I mean, the list goes on and on. We've got our platform, puzzle, racing, shoot em ups, shooters, and uh, for instance, if I wanted to find, let's say, a CPS3 game, go right in here. It's going to bring me right over to all of my CPS3 games that I have imported here. And I've imported a bunch of arcade games using kind of the MAME importer here. Same goes for, let's say, just Capcom Classics. It's going to bring up all of my Capcom arcade games that I have imported on this device right now. And overall, I've been really enjoying this new arcade filter override. It does make it really easy to find new games to play. And along with all of that, we've also added a new favorites filter. So this has been added to the all filters view. And uh, as you can see, if I scroll to the back, we've just got my recently played, got my Android up front. We're going to head into the options menu under navigation, show favorites filter. So now on the main menu, I've got all of my favorites listed right here. I've went through and favorited a bunch of awesome games here. And also, if I just go into a platform, let's say uh, NES. We've also got it listed here. So I've got a few favorite NES games and they're going to be listed right here. And this works through all of the filters, all of the consoles, all of the handhelds. And if you're not sure how to favorite a game, we'll just uh, head over to adventure. Very simple to do. We can long press on a game. We can favorite it. Super easy. So now got a couple more games added here to my favorites list under NES. 
But remember, we've also got that main filter. We can check out all of our favorite games from here. So far, LaunchBox for Android 1.7 has turned out to be pretty awesome, and there are a few extra changes here. If you're interested in checking out the change log, link for that is in the description. But we really do hope you enjoy this new update, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Definitely keep an eye out on our forum and our YouTube channel for future updates, but that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.